Okay, sorry for the slow intro there. Um, wanted to just quickly go over the Retail Management Hero point of sale software, you know, which is kind of going to be a direct replacement for the Microsoft Dynamics RMS point of sale software. Just hit some of the highlights, kind of what we know, what we don't know, and then offer some personal advice um, because I am really excited about this software. Um, having worked with RMS myself back to when it was, you know, QuickSell 2000 and QuickSell Commerce, and the very fact that over the last two years I've had over 1,100 stores using RMS contact me for some advice because we all know RMS is end of life. Sales and mainstream support end in July of 2016. So a couple of things kind of to, to highlight here about Retail Management Hero, which I abbreviate RMH because I'm a lazy when it comes to typing. But um, so I, I'm going to assume that, you know, you are an RMS user. You're past the whole EMV thing or you've come up with a plan for EMV. And now you're thinking about the end of life for RMS. And, you know, whether you're going to do something sooner or later uh, in regards to replacing RMS. Um, one real cool thing about Retail Management Hero is it is going to be using the same database as RMS. Uh, so that means, you know, as far as transferring your, your information and purchase history and all that stuff, you know, sub, sub, subject to change, it should go quite smoothly. I'm thinking back to when we had QuickSell 2000 and QuickSell Commerce, which Microsoft acquired, and then they introduced, you know, store operations and RMS. There was a nice utility that just kind of upgraded everything. So I'm hoping that we're going to see that same situation. Uh, my information that I have from the folks at Retail Hero is that there will be the same peripheral support. You know, so as far as your uh, cash drawers, receipt printers, customer displays, et cetera, et cetera. They will be giving a fresh and updated look to the user interface. So it will look like something from 2015 or 2016 instead of something from 2002, 2003. They will be offering a cloud-based headquarters. Don't have a lot of details on that. Obviously, there'll be some new features and functions that will be added to Retail Management Hero. And then they're also, at least at this point, there's going to be some sort of a license swap. So if you're a RMS user that's current on your maintenance, then there'll be an option for you to uh, upgrade to Retail Management Hero, possibly at no cost, at least for the licensing. So that kind of brings us to the unknowns. You know, we really don't know what the cost is for the headquarters module. You know, it's going to be by lanes or number of stores or how that's going to work. We actually don't know how Retail Management Hero is going to be structured for the licensing. You know, we've seen over the years where it's changed from lane licensing to store and lane licensing to all sorts of different options. So it'll be interesting to see what the final outcome is of that. Uh, still don't know who's going to be actually in charge of uh, selling, installing, and supporting Retail Management Hero. Um, I have to be honest, you know, we had the Retail Realm Essentials program come out, and I've heard from no one that in the U.S. at least that is interested in either buying it or any companies that are interested in selling, supporting, and installing Retail Management Hero, which is, a, you know, a disappointment. And I'm sorry, I meant Retail Realm Essentials. Um, so hopefully, because I see such huge potential with Retail Management Hero that we will see a lot of the RMS partners, dealers, VARs sign on to uh, sell, install, and support Retail Management Hero. We also don't know exactly when Retail Management Hero will be available. Uh, hopefully, no later than quarter one of 2016. But, uh, you know, it's softer. It takes time to test and all that fun stuff. Also don't know which locales will be uh, able to use Retail Management Hero. Obviously, RMS had some advantages. It could be sold in different countries and different locales. Um, it's possible Retail Management Hero will go that route as well, but we'll have to see. Also don't know as far as the merchant services support. 
one nice thing about RMS is you can, you know, use those EDC settings and really uh, pick and choose who you use for merchant services. And hopefully uh, Retail Management Hero will continue that, um, that option. So my advice, uh, again, I'm not making this stuff up. I've worked with uh, over 4,400 businesses at this point. Uh, and uh, also all these years of experience, not just in retail and restaurant management, but working directly with point of sale programs. So it boils down to two things. If you have been staying current on your annual software maintenance for RMS, and you've implemented an EMV plan, then I would say, you know, Retail Management Hero is likely worth waiting for. You know, if anything, at least to see what the final product looks like and what the final details are. I mean, you're, you're probably pretty much set at this point. If nothing blows up, then it's worth waiting a few months and, and seeing what happens. Um, now, if you've not been staying current on your annual software maintenance or and or you don't have a uh, an EMV plan at this point, you're probably in the position where you need to do something sooner than later when it comes to replacing RMS. Uh, because if you're not current on your maintenance, odds are you're not going to get that possible free upgrade and you're going to have other costs involved. Uh, you know, if you can hang on, it might be worth waiting for. But if uh, things aren't running too smoothly and you're looking at other costs for replacing hardware and peripherals and EMV terminals and all that fun stuff, then you're probably at a point where you're going to have to look at, you know, Bindo or Counterpoint or one of the popular replacements for RMS. Um, but again, uh, just to summarize, I, I'm really excited about this program. I think it'll be great for RMS users. Obviously, there's a few things still out there that we don't know for sure, but um, hopefully everything will fall into place and it will be an awesome solution. And thanks.